Well guys, uh, a lot of you have asked me in the comments over the year uh, why I don't do scrap metal. And uh, the sheer answer is just, I guess I haven't known how. I don't know of a good scrap yard near me until recently. And um, so I just really haven't tried. And I also felt like, you know, to scrap metal and make it worth it, you had to have enough um, saved off in a pile. And for me, emptying the trailer at the end of each job was kind of important so that I could clear space for the next job when the call came in. Um, and all that is still probably true to some degree, although I do have some space on my property that I could start a scrap pile or some scrap piles. So I'm trying to learn more about it. Um, I've done a little bit of research and found out that obviously you need to kind of separate different metals, whether they're ferrous, non-ferrous, copper, aluminum, steel, um, and the other thing I've done is I just went by my local scrap yard to figure out what do they take. And um, it turns out the guy was nice, but he said, you know, he really doesn't pay anything for steel. He'll take steel for free, um, but he doesn't pay for steel. He will pay for aluminum and, of course, copper and wire. But he said, you know, wire has different grades, so you need to kind of sort it out based on how thick the uh, copper is inside or how thick the wire is and how much of it's coating. So uh, for me, I guess it's still something I need to learn more about, but I wanted to ask my viewers if if you guys scrap, if so, does your scrap yard pay for steel? Um, if they do, maybe I just need to find another scrap yard that will pay for steel because I would think that that would be the most common metal I'll come across um, in, you know, maybe barbecues and, uh, you know, old car parts and fencing and stuff of that nature obviously some of that may be aluminum too um, which he does pay for but uh, you know how do you guys do scrap metal do you guys uh, just pull off all metal when you're doing junk removal jobs keep it aside and then build it up and then take it in you get paid for steel or not um, and is it if is if you don't get paid is it worth it to be able to go drop metal off somewhere free obviously if you have enough saturated metal in a load um, it probably is worth scrapping, but I guess to me it's a it's a matter of time and having to sort through it, keep it off to the side, make a separate run to somewhere else. So uh, it is something I want to explore, and I'd like to learn more from from everybody on YouTube and just uh, I guess by trying it, you know, here to see if it is worthwhile. Uh, but I am curious: Do you guys scrap? And if so, what do you scrap and how do you scrap? Um, so this is just something new for me and uh, I don't know, looking to learn something new, especially in the winter season while it's a little bit slow. Um, not sure if scrapping could be a good way to supplement some income. Thanks.